So we're going to go ahead and send it out to our crews there live at the scene once again. And I think this time we're going to have Daniela Leone again reporting for us. And, and you're standing by with someone. Yeah, that's right. Good, good, up, good evening, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. I've been here since 4 a.m. Again, just this was supposed to be a day of celebration, and it's just still shocking to see how it has turned out. Joining me right now is a mother-daughter duo who are holding each other a little closer right now because of what happened. You guys were so close to it. You guys aren't letting go. Tell, talk to me about what happened. Introduce yourself first and talk to me about what occurred. Um, my name is Amy. This is my daughter, Michaela. Um, we were down over really close to the situation. And um, we saw people starting to jump over the gates and then um, they were telling us to run, but then they said active shooter. And then so we just dropped down to the ground. My daughter tried to climb on top of me to protect me. And I tried to just hold her so nothing would happen to her. That's a tough, that's a very tough situation. You guys are not letting go. Talk to me about just how scary that was and, you know, the comfort and being safe, both of you right now. It is very scary. I mean, this is our second situation. Um, I don't know, you know, a while back, about Highlands Elementary. Yeah, eight years ago, we were at work at Highlands Elementary where there was an active shooter across the street wow. and we had to race all the kids to the gym and, you know, wait for the parents to come and get them. So being with my daughter, making sure she's safe is my number one priority and coming down here to celebrate and then in an, on such a sad note. It's devastating. It's been very hard. Have you guys been able to talk to other family members? I know you guys had a group out here. Yeah, our um, cousin and aunt are over there, and then my sister um, was picking up our babies from the babysitter, and my dad has called us, and he's in Oregon. So we've been talking to people. They've been, like, I think my cousin had 31 messages asking if we were okay. And we can't leave because our car is parked in the garage and they have it uh, closed off as a crime scene. So we can't even leave to go home to be with our family. And that's what you guys want right now is just yes. to be with the family. Again, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing your story. Again, this is just the many stories and the many voices that we're giving you guys. Again, uh, still shocking for a lot of people to uh, just come to terms with what occurred here at Union Station. I'm Danielle Leone reporting for KSHB. Back to you.